The battle of sprinting excellence across the world has finally arrived. There is no stage brighter, no fan base bigger, no gold medal more desirable, and no competition more exciting than that which we are about to witness at this year's Paris Olympic Games. After a strange and rather unfortunate Olympics that took place during the 2021 Tokyo Games during the COVID-19 pandemic, the 2024 Paris Games are finally here. If you are at all familiar with the single greatest moments that are achieved in track and field, then you will know that the Olympics is it. This is the moment to show up and compete with the best in the world. And one of the key events that has some of the greatest firepower in the sport right now is certainly the 100 meters. Here's a big trivia question for all you track nerds. How many female sprinters have ever won three gold medals in the 100? Take a second to consider the options. Well, the answer is actually zero. Through the history of the Olympic Games, there have only been four individuals that have won two Olympic titles in this event, but nobody has ever been able to attain that magical third title in the 100. In the 1960s, Wyoming Atias from the US won this title twice. In the 90s, it was Gail Beavers who achieved this historic double. And over the past four Olympic cycles, it has been a Jamaican athlete truly dominating this event, as Shelley Ann Fraser Price and Elaine Thompson Hera won every single title from 2008 up to 2021. The only athlete to ever achieve this absolutely beastly three-peat was the male athlete Usain Bolt from 2008 through 2016, when he broke the Olympic record twice and then clutched up during the Rio Games for a third title. To win three titles, you need to not only be the best in the world, but you need to know how to stay injury-free and battle against Father Time himself. Reaching the top of the world in sprinting is already a ridiculously difficult challenge as the sprinting landscape only continues to unfold with talent. But to bring home three golds is just a completely different level of excellence. And on that note, we have a clash of two greats right now with almost polar opposite histories and racing strategies that in one way or another will inevitably lead to something historic at this year's Paris Olympic Games. This is Shelly Ann Fraser Price from Jamaica, and this is Shakari Richardson. One athlete from the US, one athlete from Jamaica, one athlete just emerging as the world's fastest, and another veteran legend about to exit the athletics world. Right now, Shakari Richardson has earned the title as the world's fastest woman in 2024. She's the defending world champion. She's currently ranked number one this season with a PR of 10.71 seconds. And she also ran what many rank as the single fastest relay split of all time in last year's world finals, even outpacing the exceptionally fast Sharika Jackson in the 4x100 meter finals. At the moment, Shakari's racing this season has been truly exceptional, and she has reached what many consider to be a nearly untouchable position in the women's 100. Also, she currently has an undefeated record this year, looking super sharp every time she races. But many see this Olympic debut as a potential aspect of vulnerability for Shakari Richardson. And speaking of Olympic experience, this is where Shelly Ann Fraser Price enters the picture, and from my perspective, she not only has the most experience in this field, but she is the greatest sprinter of all time at the moment. From 2008 through 2024, Fraser Price has been one of the most consistent and truly dominant athletes on the sprinting scene. She has won two Olympic titles in the 100, she has won five world titles in the 100 as well, and she has won various world championship and Olympic medals in other events from the 200 meters up to the 4x100 meter relay. And she has also run under 10.7 seconds, more than any other female in track history. In fact, if we look at the full list of all all of the sub 10.7 clockings, we can see that she has nine of the 21 sub 10.7 clockings in track history. Right now, Price is in the position to potentially become the first female sprinter to ever win three individual 100 meter titles at the Olympic Games. And if she does this, I don't think it would even be a question if she's the GOAT anymore. We're talking about a borderline fact here. However, the task of getting to the top of the podium will require nothing short of perfection for this 37-year-old Jamaican, and one of the most important parts of her race that she will need to bring to the track with nearly perfect execution will certainly be her start. I do not think it's an exaggeration to say that Shelly Ann Fraser Price is the greatest starter in women's 100 history. Out of the blocks, she is literally a rocket, hence the name Pocket Rocket, and she is nearly impossible to challenge over the opening 60. 
In fact, one of the more overlooked aspects of her racing career is the fact that she actually has the fastest 60 split of all time in the women's 100, as she split a time of 6.81 seconds through the opening 60 during the 2019 World Championships in Doha, Qatar. This split is significantly faster than anything else ever achieved in the women's 100. In fact, it's even faster than the current indoor world record over the 60 meters, and it's faster than this world record by more than a tenth of a second. So for this race in Paris, Price really has to execute to perfection, and if she can bring anything close to a 6.81, she will certainly be difficult to take down. Indeed, to win this year's Olympic Games, Shikari Richardson will need to have a good start. It is as simple as that. In last year's World Championships during the semi-finals, she nearly didn't even make it to the finals because of this subpar start. However, during the finals, she put it all together, crossing through 60 meters in 6.94, and she finished like a train over the final 40 meters. If Shikari fails to get a good start, there is a possibility that another athlete will sneak in for a gold medal win. And while Fraser Price has the most decorated resume coming into this competition, another athlete with a real chance at achieving greatness is Julian Alfred from St. Lucia. As the reigning indoor 60 meter world champ from this season and the current number two seed heading into Paris, Alfred has a real chance at earning St. Lucia's very first Olympic medal ever, and there's also the possibility of her earning a gold medal. Now, in her most recent race, Alfred won this year's Diamond League meeting in Monaco with a finishing time of 10.85, and this was certainly a huge win against very talented competition. But the wind that she ran through actually makes this performance even more significant, because with a simple wind adjustment using Jonas Marika's calculator, this performance comes out to a time of 10.78, which is one of the few performances that could be displayed in any way under 10.8 this season. Indeed, Shakari Richardson clashing with Shelly and Fraser Price is an ultra exciting matchup, and seeing both of them run will be one of the highlights of this year's Olympic Games without question. But along with Julian Alford from St. Lucia, we also have Melissa Jefferson from the US, we have the steadily improving Sharika Jackson from Jamaica, last year's silver medalist in the 100, we have the rising talent Tia Clayton from Jamaica, Marie Jose Talou from the Ivory Coast, and Tunisia Terry from the US, all athletes with decorated histories and something to prove in Paris. Right now, the odds have to be with Shikari. In fact, if we look at all of the different websites, Shikari comes out on top pretty handily on most occasions. She's the favorite right now according to Let's Run, with an 80% odds ratio to win. She's the favorite on other betting websites, and according to many experts, even if she does get a subpar start, she knows how to close. So realistically, someone will need to have an exceptional race to challenge Shikari. Now I will pass this final question off to all of you. Who do you think will win this year's Olympic gold medal in the women's 100 meters? Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.